General Physics 2 is brought to you by Physics Classroom. For this week's lesson, we shall explore the concept of electric circuit, as it unfolds the significance why using Ohm's law is essential in the study of electric circuits. The study of electric circuit is essential to understand the technology that uses electricity in the real world. We depend on electricity and electrical appliances to make many things possible in our daily lives. This becomes very clear when there is a power failure and we can't use the kettle to boil water for tea or coffee, can't use the stove or oven to cook for dinner, can't charge our cell phone batteries, watch TV or use electric lights. Three quantities which are fundamental to electric circuits are current, voltage, also known as potential difference, and resistance. Electric current I is defined as the rate of flow of charge through a circuit. Potential difference or voltage V is the amount of energy per unit charge needed to move that charge between two points in a circuit. Resistance R is a measure of how hard it is to push current through a circuit element. The current in a wire is determined by voltage. Voltage is the difference in energy per unit charge as a charge moves between two points in a path of a current. The other term for voltage is potential difference. It is expressed in volts. One volt is equal to one joule per column. The higher the voltage, the more energy is released per charge. The current depends on the voltage. The greater the voltage is, the greater the current. A device used to measure voltage is called voltmeter. In addition to voltage, resistance also determines the current in a wire. Resistance is the opposition to the flow of electric charge. Resistance is expressed in ohms, denoted by the Greek letter omega. In equations, the symbol for resistance is the letter R. Good conductors like copper and silver have low resistance. Resistance is directly proportional to the length of the wire. The shorter the wire, the lesser is the resistance. Resistance is inversely proportional to the wire's cross-section area. The thicker the wire, the lesser the resistance. The resistance of metals increases as temperature increases. And now let us talk about Ohm's law, the amount of electric current through a metal conductor at a constant temperature in a circuit is proportional to the voltage across the conductor and can be described by the formula V equals I times R, where I is the current through the conductor, V is the voltage across the conductor, and R is the resistance of the conductor. In other words, at constant temperature, the resistance of the conductor is constant, independent of the voltage applied across it, or current passed through it. Ohm's law tells us that, if a conductor is at a constant temperature, the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the voltage across it. This means that, if we plot voltage on the x-axis of a graph and current on the y-axis of the graph, we will get a straight line. The gradient of the straight line graph is related to the resistance of the conductor as I over V equals I over R. This can be rearranged in terms of the constant resistance as R equals V over I. Now let's use Ohm's law to this descriptive simple example. Consider a circuit with a cell and an ohmic resistor R. If the resistor has a resistance of 5 ohms and the voltage across the resistor is 5 volts, then use Ohm's law to calculate the current flowing through the resistor. Our first task is to draw the circuit diagram. The equation for Ohm's law is R equals V over I, which can be rearranged to I equals V over R. The current flowing through the resistor is I equals 5 volts, over 5 ohms. Therefore, the current I equals 1 ampere. Let's consider another simple problem. The resistance of the resistor is 10 ohms, and the current going through the resistor is 4 ampere. What is the potential difference or voltage across the resistor? Note that. We are given the resistance of the resistor, and the current passing through it, and we are asked to calculate the voltage across it. We can apply Ohm's law to this problem using R equals V divided by I. The given quantities, R equals 10 ohms, and I equals 4 ampere. The required to find, voltage V. For the solution, voltage is the product of current and resistance, so 4 amperes is then multiplied to 10 ohms. Thus, 
the voltage across the resistor is 40 volts. As part of your performance task, solve the following problems. Number 1. Calculate the resistance of a resistor that has a potential difference of 8 volts across it when a current of 2 amperes flows through it. Draw the circuit diagram before doing the calculation. Number 2. What current will flow through a resistor of 6 ohms when there is a potential difference of 18 volts across its ends? Draw the circuit diagram before doing the calculation. Number 3. What is the voltage across a 10 ohm resistor when a current of 1.5 ampere flows through it? Draw the circuit diagram before doing the calculation. Number 4. The resistance of the resistor is 12.11 ohms, and the current going through the resistor is 64 ampere. What is the voltage drop across the resistor? Number 5. Calculate the magnitude of current that is passing across section if the resistance is 4.5 ohms when the voltage across is 12 volts. Remember, always draw the circuit diagram before doing the calculations. The expected output for the performance task indicated here is a flipbook, example is as seen in the link, provided below. Thank you.